Hi, my name is Anjan Reinders and I'm part of the product development team at Montana Instruments. And today I'm going to introduce you to the Agile Temperature Stage. Uh, my research background is in optical spectroscopy, specifically infrared and Raman spectroscopy. And the ATS was designed specifically to combat some of the common frustrations uh, within Raman spectroscopy uh, that also apply to photoluminescence and any kind of microscopic technique. So let me show you what the Agile Temperature Stage looks like. Here you see the Agile Temperature Stage, which has a sample platform of just over half an inch. And surrounding the platform, you see the radiation shield, which stays within 10 Kelvin of your base temperature over the full temperature range of the, of the platform. On the side, you see a two-pin connector that goes to the solid state heating element of the Agile Temperature Stage. And here you see a four-pin connector that goes to the CERNOX that measures the temperature exactly 500 microns below the sample platform, which gives you very good control over the temperature. But of course, what really matters is the actual performance of the ATS. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, what you see here is a white light image of a superconducting quantum interference device that is mounted on top of a, one of our agile temperature stages. And we're using our cryo-optic module, which Michael described earlier, to do this imaging. And to illustrate the agility and the positional stability of the agile temperature stage, I'm going to change the temperature on the platform, which is currently at 5 Kelvin, as you can see in the thermometry plot, to 50 Kelvin. And what you'll see, the red line illustrates the set point, and the blue line is the CERNOX measurement, which follows the red line very carefully. You can see already, within about 10 seconds, we've reached a stability of 50 millikelvin. Uh, without affecting the positional stability at all of, the, of the, the squid, at least it's not discernible by eye, and the focal plane stayed more or less constant. Now if we change the set point back to zero, uh, simply going back to base temperature, you'll see it takes a little bit longer. But if you keep an eye on the image of the squid, you can see there's really no change in the XY plane and minimal change in the Z plane which is really one of the strengths of the Agile Temperature Stage and one of the motivations in the development of the stage. So recapping the performance of the Agile Temperature Stage, you'll be able to move from base temperature to 350 Kelvin in 10 minutes or less and achieve unparalleled thermal and positional stability so that you'll never be able to lose track of the features that you're looking at in your sample or maybe small exfoliated flakes you're studying. And if you'd like to learn more about the Agile Temperature Stage or the Cryo-Optic, please keep an eye out for our forthcoming review of Scientific Instrument. This was written in collaboration with the Kent Birch Group at Boston College and the University of Toronto. And we'd love to hear what you think about the article, so please stay in touch and thank you.